Hello guys, we have been all using where clauses, where commands, where functions in Eloquent for years. But in this video, I will show you six quick tips with where function that you may not know. Let's jump straight into them. Tip number one is, did you know that you can do where date? So here's the data in my database. I have one user created yesterday at the time of shooting this video. And if I launch that in Tinkerwell, that user will be returned. If we have sub days two, for example, two days ago, the result will be empty. So essentially it would execute raw query with date function in MySQL. That is much shorter than doing the actual raw query with where raw or db raw here. And there are similar functions for where month, where year, where day and where time. Keep in mind that if you have an index on that field, it will not work for date created at automatically. For that, you need to create specific index, including that date function. So that's tip number one, where date. Tip number two, if you have multiple where conditions with key and value pairs, did you know that you can pass them as an array like this? So you call the where function once, and then in array you have key value pairs like a typical array. The result will be the same. It's just about personal preference, maybe a bit shorter, or maybe you want to construct that array dynamically so it's easier to add more key values into array than add more where functions called dynamically. So that's tip or trick number two. Tip number three is where condition on the pivot table in many to many relationships. For example, you have a database table row user and you have separate extra column is active or not and you want to have users with roles that are active so in a general sentence you'd have user with roles and then two rows are returned with both of those pivot records but in the model you can also specify a separate relationship where pivot so you repeat the same function this rows but add where pivot with extra columns if you define them with pivot in the original relationship so now if we change that roles to active roles, the name of that function, we refresh, it's still one user, but active roles relationship with only one returned result of the role, which is role ID one, which is exactly the active pivot role. So that's tip or trick number three. Tip number four is very old, but I still see people doing that mistake. I'm showing you Laravel Daily Com article from 2015. So yes, Laravel Daily is that old. I started that blog in 2015, almost nine years ago. It's hard to believe that. But even at that time, there was this typical mistake. For example, if you have multiple conditions, for example, this and that, or this and that. So this is the SQL query that you want to run. And if you write it like this with where conditions, where or where, and another pair of where or where, this would be incorrect. Because by default, Eloquent and Laravel doesn't put any brackets here, which means that the actual order of the condition will be incorrect. If you want to put the brackets in your SQL, you need to group those where functions, where conditions into a callback function inside of another where. So this is the correct grouping of where one group or where another group of multiple conditions. So that's tip and trick number four. For tip number five and six, I will just show you the examples from Laravel docs because they are pretty clear. So where column, if you need to compare two columns within the same statement, not to compare columns with some PHP Laravel value, but column versus column, there's a separate where column. So in this case, where first name equals last name or where column updated at is bigger than created at. In practice, it's also useful. I've seen that used quite a lot in more complex queries with joins and subselects and stuff like that. So for example, table users where exists something from orders and then you define where column from one table with another table. And the final tip number six, of course, there are many more things that you can do with where conditions. And I will link some stuff to read in the description below. But what I wanted to show you is where not, where any and where all. These are beside each other in the docs. So if you want to group some condition and then add a negative to that, so not all of these, there's also where not function with a callback. I haven't seen that used in practice or in my personal projects, but it's just a cool thing to know. But then what I do envision used quite a lot, this is quite a new addition in Laravel 10, in one of the latest Laravel 10 versions from what I remember. So where any and where all, 
the goal is to replace multiple where conditions. So where name like example, where email like example, or where phone like example. So this can be now combined in where any if you have the or condition. But if you have the and condition, then the opposite of where any is where all. So where all title and content like Laravel, for example. And this is the actual SQL query that would be executed. Again, there are so many other where statements, parameters, and things that you can put in the code. So I will link the docs in the description below. And also, if you want to dive deeper into Eloquent in general, one of my most popular courses is about Eloquent expert level. And I will link that as well in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.